السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته friends welcome back to my channel in this session we will discuss is it safe to connect these power supplies in series in video number 598 I demonstrated how we can connect these power supplies in series to take multiple outputs or to add the voltage of these power supplies on that video there were some comments from my viewers if all the power supplies does not start up or don't start up at the same time would the reverse polarity voltage potentially apply to non-started power supply cast the output capacitor to reverse polarity and explore no I will explain and we will demonstrate practically would it be good to put a diode across the output of each no rated for the for at least the total combined voltage and rated for the current of the huge current power supply okay we will see no need to connect diodes I will discuss another point and then I replied to my viewer he said okay looking forward for your thoughts I am guessing that the output circuitry may be may offer some protection against this already no there is no protection but we will see what is the feature but that but that diodes may offer cheap extra protection okay we will see then another viewer comment replied okay in fault condition short circuit because the power supply output will connect it to opposite polarity I agree that it is good solution and short key diode connected in reverse bias across output terminals for each of power supplies this is for two power supplies I have not considered what would happen that three or more but I think it would complicate things even more best regards okay let's start in our last combination what I did today I added switch in each power supply so that we can turn off we can turn on any power supply at any time in any configuration so I will suggest if you have not watched this video you can watch video number 598 in my English channel Hasib Electronics now we will see this circuit in some different angle this is the power supply number one this is the interior of the power supply winding rectifier output capacitor so this is the positive end this is the negative end we are taking between this point to this point negative and positive but when we look at this power supply this end is negative this end is positive and it is giving from this point to this point 12 volt but if we see with respect to this ground we are giving 12 volt offset to this ground potential so we raised the potential above its zero level to 12 volt so this is 12 and this is 14 and if we see this capacitor it will raise 24 volt why because we are separating it from the return line we are adding these voltage here negative positive negative positive negative positive so this will the total added voltage 36 volts now I am connecting connecting the load resistance this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal or we are we are connecting here or we are connecting here suppose three power supplies are turned on plus 12 here plus 24 volt plus 36 volt the load resistance is receiving 36 volt due to any reason we can say this power supply is off now it is not generating magnetic field this power supply is powered on as I discussed this capacitor will receive plus 12 volt offset so that this power supply will float at 12 plus 12 24 volts if this power supply is not generating the power 
at that time this positive voltage will pass through the winding of the transformer this diode is forward bias and it will reach here at that time this power supply will receive 12 volt offset so that time 12 plus 12 24 volt will reach here and this capacitor will not affect it anymore why because this is positive terminal this positive terminal is reaching here then we have a winding here this winding in micro ohm then diode it is dropping 0.2.3 volts so this end is positive 12 volt after that it will give we can say 11.8 volt here so this end will remain positive why because with respect to this this terminal this is more positive so this capacitor will not affect it in any way if this power supply is off what will happen we have this positive terminal and it will complete its path from these two power supplies if this power supply is off it is not generating magnetic field due to any reason it is not starting up so this 24 volt the sum point here will cause to pass from this diode and load will receive 24 volts if we say we want to add this diode so looking from this return line we have already these diodes so no, no need to add reverse protection we have winding rectifier positive output then we have the second power supply this is the negative output and here we will take positive output because this is winding for example if this power supply will turn off or it will not start up the positive voltage will reach here from this power supply and the positive voltage will pass through this winding because this power supply is not turning on so the positive voltage will reach here this diode will forward bias when it is forward bias we will receive here 12 volt the same voltage here minus 0.2.3 volt 0.7 volt whatsoever if this power supply is off at that time 12 plus 12 24 this voltage will pass through this winding the second comment that reverse voltage for example this power supply is off this time this is less potential low potential so it will not make a reverse biasing for this capacitor because here it is providing 12 volt positive but here it is more so it will not reverse bias because this is higher potential terminal let's check it if you connect this polarity protection no problem we can connect but there is no need to connect this one because this positive voltage will reach here like this and it will reach here we are adding an other load in series with the series connection let's check it practically I am using this strip to take the output terminals this black wire it is connected at the first power supply negative terminal so we can say this is our return line I will set multimeter to DC voltage okay this blue line is the first output of this power supply that is 12 volt positive terminal so this positive terminal is now connected to the negative terminal of the second power supply positive negative and then output of this power supply we are taking as a 24 volt output at this point and the same positive terminal is connected to the negative terminal of this power supply so we are taking here 20, 36 volt so I will connect here we can turn on any power supply at any time now I am turning on first power supply we are taking 12 volt 
this time the other two power supplies are off so this positive voltage from this point here we are taking 12 volt 12.04 volt and if we collect some load now I collected the load this time I am taking 11.25 across the load here I collected the load resistance our this power supply is now providing 12 volt if we analyze I connected the load resistance across this total voltage because this time just only this power supply is powered on it is 12 volt out of 12 volt our this power supply is dropping 369 millivolt why because this end is positive these positive voltage are reaching here so this end is positive and it is forward bias now at this point we will receive 12 volt minus 0.3 volt 0.4 volt whatsoever here for the rectifier so this end will become just only 0.3 volt less than this so 0.3 volt in negative polarity for this capacitor will not affect anymore the same is here after passing this voltage from here here we will receive the same 0.3.4 volt less voltage at this point so this capacitor will reverse bias but not too much so it is within range if it is giving too much difference then it will become dangerous but now it is reverse bias because this time I am collect connecting black lead at the reverse line return line and this is at the positive line so now our load is receiving just only 11.26 volts if I will turn on this power supply now this is turned on we are receiving 23.6 volts why 12 volt 12.03 plus 12.06 and this power supply is dropping the same 400 millivolt which are the forward voltage for the rectifier this one we turn down these two power supplies and now I will turn on this power supply it is turned on we are receiving 36.11 volt that's okay but we can say if this power supply is off now this voltage plus this voltage and what is the condition here at this at this terminal this is negative terminal and this one is positive terminal so it is dropping the same 400 millivolt that are the forward voltage of this diode if we will add an other diode here in series it will drop this voltage plus this voltage if we will connect this diode in reverse polarity it will block the voltage it will not allow to pass the current because at that time if we apply positive voltage here and we connect this diode in reverse polarity at that time this diode will become reverse bias so to make it forward bias we have to connect in this way at that time these diodes will become in series and this will become as a passive load okay now turn on this power supply and turn off the first one the load voltage 23.69 and we will check this power supply now the same 389 we can say it is 0.4 volt so biasing with 0.4 volt to a polar capacitor it is not a dangerous if it will go in voltage we can say 10 volt 12 volt at that time that can explode in this condition in this configuration it is safe to connect 
I hope so this video is informative. If it is informative, hit the like button. If you have any question, let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.